Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the best design off the grid travel trailers. This one is their new toy hauler version. This is the 2023 Forest River Ibex model 24 MTH. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Ibex and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you guys the awesome toy hauler Ibex. Super excited for, to show everybody. Before I begin, let's say hi to Will. Hey Will. Hey guys. Guys, I'm so excited to take a look at this Ibex. Ibex builds really good travel trailers, and this is a toy hauler version. Let's begin. Okay. Model is Ibex 24 MTH. The actual tip tip length is 30 feet long. The dry weight is 5,831 pounds. The hitch weight is 935 pounds. Well, this is a lot bigger than 24 feet. It is. Right, like, you know, I'm so like, oh, it's a small toy hauler. Right. I mean, it's pretty big overall. Right up here, we do have a very nice power tongue jack. Okay. Propane tanks go here, your batteries go there. We got a disconnect switch right there, which doesn't make any sense because how are the lights on if that's off? Uh, because it's hooked up through oh, the yeah, truck. Yeah. Oh. Or the. Right here, fiberglass, aluminum frame, fiberglass sides with an awesome front windshield and a diamond plate rock guard there. Cool. Coming on down here, you can see that we do have some storage with a very nice cooktop right there and manual stabilizing jacks, very nice. We do have a very awesome power awning with LED lights. And look at these solid steps. I'm loving it. Right here, we got a handle to get in. Just so everybody knows, the Ibex is competitors to the Novo. Right. Uh, they are sister products. They, uh, Ibex does use Asdell. Asdell is a green base, or Asdell is a composite and it will never delaminate on you. Scan that if you want to learn more about Ibex. It also has the extended journey package, cold weather package, which is the heated and enclosed underbelly. Very nice power awning with LED lights. Right here's your black tank flush. Power, little uh, spray port for the outside right there. And you got an LP quick connect if you want to hook up a grill. Okay. And then look at these tires. Well, they're good here, Wrangler tires. I love those. ST225-75 R16 with your regular Dexter axles right there. Okay. Or your suspension. Coming around the back wheel. This is a toy hauler. So you know you got a ramp door. Yeah. Very nice ramp door. Um, it does make a patio and uh, you do have the backup camera there. Right. Finishing up. Oh man. Oh, I missed that. You missed it, Will. We'll take a look on the inside. Okay. There is a access way from the garage area. And then right over here, 30 amp service, uh, cable and satellite. Here's where you dump your tanks. It's a horrible spot under the slide out. Yeah. But the travel trailer is so high up that it's nice. Okay. You know, so it's really not that bad. And then finishing up, Sir William, potable water fill, potable, potable. City water connection and a water heater right there. Nice. Well, well, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. That's a really good price on that one. Is it? Yep. All right, well, let's check it out. Okay. All right, up front, you got the Murphy bed. In the middle is the kitchen. What? Mid bathroom, and in the back is the garage. Wait, that was a full size door? It was, yeah. It didn't look like it from the outside. That's very cool. Well, before we begin, let's give a big shout out to Lipper. One, two, three, Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RVing. 
But Limpert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. All right, we're back, Will. Yeah. And I didn't know it was a full-size door. Right. It kind of looked like a miniature door at first. Yeah, it did. All right, well, let's begin. Okay. You know we're starting in this garage area. Okay. First and foremost, ramp door right here. You know this makes the patio super cool feature. Yep. This is a real toy hauler, Will. It is, yeah. Tons of space back here. D-rings, tons of space, really good head height. I'm like really surprised that they did this. Yep. All right, well, I'm gonna need your help. Okay. Show them that. We do have very nice storage, a little lockbox there. Okay, centralized vac. Yeah. Is this lockbox for a gun? Probably. Probably, and it's probably because a lot of people who get this are gonna have like, go into the wilderness right, and stuff. Right, for sure. And so, I like that. That's, Bear protection. Yeah, no, seriously. Centralized vacuum here and everything, very nice. And then, well, how does that convert? Um, to be honest, I don't know, but we're gonna figure it out. You, you are gonna figure it out because you're Mr. Handy Dandy William. You pull out. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, it's on the spare tire. Okay, it's tire. on the spare tire. That is still very cool, though. Yep, yeah. and then this is gonna flip up. I'm gonna get that side. Get this ladder. Out. and then it's running underneath and this ladder is adjustable uh, okay we get the idea though well yep that is very cool it is so you get the bunk beds in a small travel trailer toy hauler yep i'm loving that and then this i'd have to get the other side but this will flip up to make a little guard for the kids nice Just like that? Yep. And then just like that. There was a latch in here somewhere, but... Bada bing and bada boom. Well, coming on in here, show us this kitchen. Okay, you got a little bit of countertop space, or I'm sorry, cabinet space up top. Nice window to let in some natural light. Range hood right here. Three burner suburban cooktop. Right here with the lights. Ooh. No oven, but you do have a convection microwave here. Very nice. And no convection. No. And no, yeah, convection. Yes. Nice countertops, they're not solid service, but they're definitely going with like that outdoorsy wood, like farmhouse type thing. Yes. A nice extension faucet there. Little round single bowl sink. Okay. Did I already get this storage nope. right here? So nice. And then over here, you do have a nice compressor fridge. So this works out for 12 volt. Very nice. Behind that is a great big pantry, which I absolutely love. And we got the Murphy bed behind me. Before we do that, well, you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Well, MSRP on this unit here, Stock number 253348 is $59,663. Okay. Well, MSRP. Sale price on this stock number here, we have it 33% off to a sale price of only $39,999. That's Will, awesome. That is fan freaking tastic. Sure is. And if you guys are interested in getting this unit or any IBEX, again, all you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from Matt's RVReviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to me and a member of my team will help everybody get the absolute best price in America. If it's a crime to help people get the best price in America, 
sir, I'm guilty. You know yep, what I'm saying? Exactly. Here we go now. Well, check this out. We got storage underneath there. Jackknife sofa. Now, here's what I say about these Ibexes. I hate this sofa. Yeah. But you're you're getting a sofa right because there's no way to give you this sofa and a permanent bed right so it has to be the murphy a dorm i am looking directly oh man america john cena you got a beer opener and key holder right there you are looking directly across from your tv okay you got a nice countertop there and a very nice fireplace here What's nice about the fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity. Nice. And again, it's a good TV spot for the bed, for the uh, sofa. Yeah. This just goes like that. How you doing? Bada bing, bada boom. Before we drop it down, I'm loving that, Matt. I like that too. That's really cool. You got storage there. Power and USB there. Okay. You also have storage here and power and USB there. And then right here, a little bit oh, more. Only on this side. Yes, sir. And then... Love it. Yeah. Nice bed. Look at that awesome windshield. Right, that's great. Yes, you got storage underneath there, storage over there. Well, this is a comfy Murphy bed, it you is. know what I'm saying? It's de I, I've definitely seen so much worse when it comes to Murphy beds, but Ibex with their tall ceilings, they just do a fantastic job. Yep. Show us a shower. Okay. Great head height in here because of these tall ceilings. The width is good, the depth isn't the best, but with this curtain closed, you know, they do this radius here. Yeah. And it definitely helps. So it passes, bing! That's a seal of approval. Well, what do we got there? Nice mirrored medicine cabinet. Oh! Right. <laughs> Liquefied, our brand of black tank toilet treatment. Guys, get this at primepoopposition.com at your local General RV, or we will have some at the Hershey RV show, hopefully with a special gift. Yeah. Right here we have a nice sink, storage underneath there, and then womp womp. Well, what is this? Oh, that was scary. All right. Plastic toilet, womp womp. Well, this is not a prime pooping position. Womp 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 womp. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before we leave, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit. Three things we don't like. Well, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Okay, did we have one outside? I don't think so. Really? I thought we had something on the outside. No. You sure? All right, what's this like number one then? Well, mine is on the outside. Well, tell me then. Uh, but we didn't pre-do one. I don't like that there's no pass-through storage. Oh. That storage is deep. But that almost in a sense makes it worse because everything would get pushed and buried back there. There you go. Um, and I don't know, I don't even know why they didn't put, uh, you know, storage access on this side. Right. It doesn't seem like a floor plan that couldn't accommodate it. So it's a little weird. I don't get it. Well, that's dislike number one. Well, dislike number two, as much as I do like this bunk bed, I don't like the way of yeah. setting it up. It was definitely a little bit of a pain in the butt. Lots of moving parts and pieces, heavy metals. And I can just see myself pinching my fingers. Pinching right, my. right. That's just like number two. And then, well, what's just like number three? Um, I don't think I have just like number three. I mean, I, I could say oh, the Oh, I know. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't like, like, they should have put this microwave up there. I'm okay with no mm -hmm. oven. I prefer an oven. But if you're going to do a convection mm -hmm. microwave, no matter what, put the microwave up here. Okay. I, you know, you don't want to be baking your cookies down here. Right. So. Like, come on, first world problems. Right. Well, that's three things we don't like about this unit. Now it's time for three things we love about it. And well, here's what I will say. Mm -hmm. I will add another dislike. Again, I do not like this sofa, but overall, for a Murphy bed setup, I really do like it. Yeah. Gets the job done for a trailer this small. And you have this awesome map of America, USA. That's right. That's and number Canada. one. Well, I said America. It's all of them. Canada's America. It's part of North America. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's number one. Well, what's number two? Like number two, I want to save the garage for last. Well, then I'll give you like number two. Okay. Like number two, well, I love the tall ceilings in here. Yeah. It's very nice. Guys, at the end of the day, this is a small travel it trailer. Is. 
all the Ibexes are. I love the tall ceilings, and I love the aggressive looking tires in the off-road right. packages. That's number two, and then we'll wrap it up with number third. For this size travel trailer, like, this is actually a great garage, considering how much good living space you still have. Right, when I walked in here, I was like, Oh my God, it's a yeah. real toy hauler. I thought it was going to be more like bike storage. Right. Or something like that. And it's not at all. It's the real toy hauler. I'm loving it, Will. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to um, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Yes. And Will, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.